We're ready. Hi, everyone. Uh, we are here, Phil and I from the Learning Technology Special Interest Group with the two scholarship winners for the 2018 conference. We've got uh, Elisa and Julia, and uh, we are going to get to know more about their projects and their work. Okay, welcome everyone. Hello. Hi there. So as Raquel says, today we're meeting the two Learning Technologies Special Interest Group scholarship winners for the ITELFL conference, which will be taking place in Brighton in the United Kingdom next April. And I'm going to be speaking to Elisa. Now, Elisa is the Roving Reporter Scholarship winner. Now, this is a travel grant that is given by the SIG to attend the ITELFL annual conference. Uh, the award is open to all, not just members of the SIG, although the winner is expected to become actively involved in the SIG. The Roving Reporter Scholarship is aimed at a tech-minded educator who wishes to attend IATEFL and the Learning Technologies SIG post-conference event in order to write articles and create media on sessions they attend. The scholarship winner will be asked to produce a small video and or audio clips and will help to capture the feel of the conference. Uh, last year's winner for this travel grant was awarded to Will Leung, who came from Hong Kong. And this year, the award has gone to an Indonesian teacher who is in Jakarta and is joining us live from an internet cafe in Jakarta. And her name is Elisa Effendi. Is that right, Elisa? Yes, perfect, Elisa. Yeah, I believe you're the founder of Engliven, which is an online English learning community. Yes, Engliven, yes. I say it in English. Engliven, sorry. <laughs> Yes. In living, stands right. For, stands yeah. for in, in live in your English, yes. So can I ask you, Elisa, a, a few questions about winning this grant? Um, first of all, I'm very interested in the market for learning English in your country. So what are the popular ways of learning English using technology in Indonesia these days? Yeah, I think um, in the Indonesian school context itself, English is a compulsory subject since we are we were in primary until secondary levels and however most of the students who have finished their studies still lack the ability to communicate actively in english hence explains the huge market for learning english in the country especially in big cities such as jakarta uh, because m more and more students are um, pre preferred to take their higher education abroad as well so, um, in, terms of, in terms of technology, I guess the most recent ones have come from e-learning by edtech startups such as Quipper, Edmodo, who have worked with uh, some schools in Indonesia and helped the teachers facilitate the uh, forum, discussion forum uh, online. And I think aside from those startups, I think social media actually plays a major role as well because learners can access authentic materials uh, and they can subconsciously learn English as well and practice. And, and I mean, there's no need for English, social media training again because I think